So guys, today we are going to be mixing this up a little bit and I'm going to be doing a video about my everyday carry for college. Now most of you guys know that I attend college and so with college being what college is, you can't necessarily have everything that my standard EDC has and I thought I would just overall take you guys on Right. Overall, take you guys over it, show you the kinds of backpack systems I use, or the kind of backpack system I use, and just overall what I carry for college life. And of course, I do not live on college, so or live on the campus that I attend, so that's why I can have another EDC that's more for like when I'm actually outside of campus, but when I'm on my campus, this is the basis to what I carry. So. <clears throat> as I'm gonna break this down into two basic parts the one that or the first part is going to be everything that I carry on my body whether it's on my neck whether it's on my belt in my pockets uh, the different things that I carry on my body and then I'm gonna be breaking into the pack that I carry and the different things that I carry in my backpack so in interest of not freezing to death and um, just going over what's on my body very fast, I have it all laid out on this table. Hopefully you guys can see it all, but I'll pretty much individually pick up everything and show you guys the basics to what I carry. Starting here on my right or you guys' left over here, this belt is the Highland belt. This is of course what I wear on my belt and this is the belt that I wear. So this is the Highland belt. It's by Hank's belt. It's a very nice looking looking belt but I really like it because it's nice and lightweight and it's pretty thin as far as leather belts go but yet it's thin enough to be not cumbersome but also thick enough to still be able to hold up a good amount of weight and so this is the belt that I usually wear then the multi-tool I usually carry is just a Leatherman Surge. Then after that, of course, I have car keys here. Then for my phone, this is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and rocking in a kind of red and dark red uh, OtterBox case. And then I have just some regular Burt's Bees. Uh, this is dark chocolate and blueberry. And then I have a Victorinox Classic SD. Then for the two knives, I'm rocking a Benchmade 940-2 and a Benchmade Griptilian 56. Then for the two pieces of neck carry, I have the Exotac Nano Striker XL and then the SC3. Then for flashlights, I'm carrying the Mech Army SPX-10. Then for writing instruments, these are probably the, one of the most important things for college life because you write a lot, uh, but is a Sharpie and a Fisher Space Pen. Then a Trayvax Summit with its armor plate on it. Then, of course, a carbon, carbon 6 or C6 carbon fiber ring with silver inlay and a Zippo. Quick note, our, the college I attend to <clears throat> doesn't allow gun carry, so you guys are not going to see the Glock 19 here, because obviously that would be illegal. So uh, I don't have the Glock 19 in this everyday carry, and I don't normally carry it on campus, and only if I know I'm not going into the buildings, because you can technically carry it on campus, but you can't carry it into any of the buildings. So if I know I'm just going to be like driving through the campus and not actually stopping there or doing anything on the campus, then I'll just carry it. But if I know I'm going to like class, then I won't carry it. So now taking a look at the backpack and its contents. So this is the primary pack that I use for college. It's just the good old Camelback Blowfish. It's not the best pack and it doesn't, it's not the most hip or cool pack, but it's a pack that I have that works really, really well for everything I need to carry. Now I will say I take half of my classes online, so <clears throat> I, that allows me to leave half of the schoolwork or the textbooks that I have to use for school at my house so I don't actually end up having to carry a whole lot of my textbooks and uh, school books to class or to school so that's why I'm also able to use a smaller backpack but what I do like about the blowfish is it does of course have this blowfish capability that in the future or just especially in the moment if I do have to carry extra stuff you can see that I can't expand the uh, capability or carrying capability of this backpack by a little chunk and that really does help um, when I need to carry more stuff. 
than average. But for the most part, I don't need the blowfish element. I'm also not using the water bladder element, which is on this side. You guys can see the zipper here. Uh, that's for the water bladder. Not using a water bladder because generally I always have really good access to water at college or I just don't generally need it. So first off in here is just kind of where I keep different things like snacks and hand sanitizers. So that's basically the, all that's in here is just like hand sanitizer and sometimes I'll carry snacks in there if I know that I'm going to be at campus for a while and I need to have something to eat. Generally that just kind of carries that stuff. I'll also carry change and different kind of things that uh, change a lot or intermittent things that I'm not gonna have like week after week generally go up in this top little pouch here. So the next pouch is this double zippered pouch. This one here, as you guys can see, there's so many zippers on this thing, it's hard to tell which one is really which. But anyways, so the first thing I have in here, in this little mesh pouch here, is just a Bible. It's a small Bible, but I like to have it just in case I need it. Um, <clears throat> It's always good to have a Bible on hand and it fits perfectly in this little mesh pouch up here. Doesn't take up any space at all and really from the main pack here. So I really like having that just right there. Like I said, it's really easy to have and you have also really convenient access to the Bible at any time. So that's really nice. So this right here, this little black thing, is actually the pouch that I just discussed earlier up here. This is just where it is in the actual backpack, but it can kind of go back up in there. So as you guys can see, once again, I'm not carrying a whole lot of schoolwork in here. So <clears throat> I'm not carrying a whole lot of textbooks and schoolwork in here. So this is still quite free. You guys can see I have quite a bit of space in here. If I did need to actually use more, I definitely could. And so the first thing in here, the largest, I generally carry things smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So the largest thing in here, which is pretty small overall, is my 13 inch MacBook. And it's just sitting in a red case to overall protect it from scratches. And once again, it's sitting in the same compartment as different uh, textbooks and stuff. So I don't want the actual computer itself getting all scratched up but this is just a 13 inch macbook and the reason why i chose a 13 inch i know a lot of people go with the 15 inch macbooks but i really i've had several computers in the past that were or actually my last two computers in the past were uh, 15 inch and there's nothing necessarily wrong with a 15 inch computer but i really just didn't find that I needed that much size so I wanted to get a small computer that was still really powerful and I like the uh, MacBook Pro in 13 inch because it's a really small computer but yet it still has like 8 gigs of RAM and it's a really powerful little computer so it also gets great battery life and just overall it's a really great workhorse computer and once again it's super compact super slim and pretty lightweight and once again I really like that 13 inch size because I can put it in a lot of different backpacks and it fits really well. So next to that, of course, I just have, and I'm not going to go over these because these are subject to change, but I have just different textbooks in here and a notebook here. I don't actually end up taking a whole lot of notes, but I do have a notebook in case I need it. And then once again, smaller, uh, you guys can barely see, I don't even think you can see them, but smaller uh, school books back in here. So once again, this is just sorted in this particular pouch or in this particular backpack area compartment. It's just largest to smallest of different school books and stuff. And once again, not gonna go over those because those change a lot depending on what exact uh, courses I'm taking that day or what exact courses I'm taking that semester. So those are subject so to change. Now into this pouch here or this one, right here so this is the last compartment of this pack there's not a whole lot of compartments to this diff or this backpack and once again I don't really need a whole lot of different compartments because I'm not carrying a whole lot of stuff but anyways this right here is what they call a clicker and it's used for taking online or in class online uh, exams and quizzes and so you kind of have to have these for some classes I take and I really don't like them but you do actually have to have 
have them for some classes to participate in different quizzes and exams that are done in class online. So then next to that is I carry three different pens. I carry one green pen, one black pen, and then I carry just a straight pencil. And the only reason I carry these in here, as you guys just saw with my normal EDC, I do carry a pen, but I have in the past misplaced and lost that pen. And so just in case I lose it or misplace it in the future, I carry a handful of extra pens or a couple extra pens and a pencil just in case I misplace my primary pen that's on my body just so I can have one to have as a backup because the first time I misplaced my pen that I carry on me I didn't have a backup pen and so I had to like use other people's and I just was like okay now I just need to carry a couple extra pens in case anything happens so that's what these are and then of course I also carry notes in different things that I need to know uh, in here this is a place that semi frequently changes out but for the most part I just make sure that I have pens pencils and different writing instruments in here and then lastly because I am still in Alaska, I decided just to, as like a fun thing to have as a really nice um, backup. And if anything ever happens, I'm carrying a fully loaded, fully decked out OtterBox, uh, what is this? I think it's a 3250. I think that's the number of this one. I forget the particular number of this one, but I believe it's 3250 uh, Dry Box by OtterBox. As you guys can probably tell by my channel, I'm a pretty big OtterBox fan, but I really like this Dry Box. And like I said, I'm not gonna go into it in this video because I'm gonna have another video dedicated to the contents of what this survival kit carries. But rest assured, it's a fully decked out, really competent uh, survival kit that would help get you out of just about any situation really well and so that's what I carry in here in the back of this and it sits in here nicely as you can barely even tell it's really in there and so sits in there really rounds out the pack and just as a nice kind of nod to having something really survivally in this pack just in case I'm ever separated from any of my survival contents that I carry on my body um, I have a really nice comprehensive survival kit in the backpack just in case because once again we're still out in the middle of the woods in Alaska so things could still technically happen uh, in survival terms I mean. Anyways so guys that has been my entire college carry as you guys or hopefully you guys enjoyed that and taking a look over what I carry hopefully you guys maybe have got some uh, some ideas for your own. I really like the Camelback Blowfish as a backpack for college. I don't think Camelback makes the Blowfish anymore. I don't think it was a really popular backpack, but this 100 ounce version of the Blowfish has always been a really go-to pack for me as far as school goes. I mean, I've always been homeschooled, well, not always, but for a very long time I've been homeschooled. So having a really dedicated like school pack has never really been a thing for me. So <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of school packs, but this one works really well for being a going to school pack and it holds everything I need in it really well. And as you guys can see, some things extra. And I always wanna keep a little bit of survival contents on me, regardless to where I go or what pack I'm carrying or using. I think it's just a smart idea to be prepared. And that survival kit is not just for starting fires or building shelters. It actually has other things such as some medical equipment in it. So in case I ever do need any like band-aids or any bandages in general, it also has those things and it's prepared for that as well. So it's just a general overall well-rounded survival and just medical kit. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this look and you've learned just a little bit more uh, about a college carry, at least by me. And I uh, wanted to keep things interesting for this everyday content and thought it would be cool to bring you guys what I carry every day going to college. So anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.